this is going to be the first video in the learning MongoDB series. At this point, you should already have MongoDB installed on your computer. If you're using Mac or Windows, uh, please watch the installation videos. I have already shown how to install MongoDB. Now, after you have MongoDB, in today's video, we're going to explore the shell, Mongo shell, and how to write commands. And our main focus is going to be about creating a document, which is the essential part in MongoDB. Now let's go to terminal. I'm using Mac, so I'm going to go to terminal. Just search for terminal and you should be able to open it. Uh, if you're using Windows, please go to your command prompt. So go to the start menu and search for the command prompt. CMD will open the command prompt in Windows. I have already shown how to do that in the installation video. Now starting from now, all the commands are going to be exactly same in Windows and Mac. So you should be able to write the same command and get the same output. Now, if you have this shell open, to get MongoDB started, just type in Mongo S8, so Mongo shell, and you should see a message like this. So that means you're, you're inside MongoDB. All right. Now, the first thing to do is to check for the databases. So I'll check that. So show DBS is going to bring us the databases that we already have. So you should see something similar to this. Yeah, maybe a little bit different, but most of this should already be there. Admin, config, files, and local. These are the default databases that MongoDB already came with. I uh, will be creating our own databases later on. So let's actually create our first database. So there is no create a command in MongoDB. Instead, you have to use this use command. So use, let's say, I'll write first database. And you can see we already switched to that database. And you can also see that in the prompt. Now, the next thing to do is we're going to create a collection as well as a document. Now, before we do all those, let's talk about a document first. So what is a document? Now, simply put, a document is uh, similar to if you have taken, say, if you have uh, done anything related to SQL, a relational database, you know, uh, there are tuples where you store data, the rows in a table. So documents are somewhat like that. So you're storing data. You have field and value, field value pairs, and they are stored in a JSON-like format, which is called binary JSON or BSON. Now, uh, I'll show you what a document looks like first before creating one. So let's open a sample. If you open this example.json uh, using any text editor. And you can see within this example.json, let me make this a little bit bigger. So we have two entries. Uh, this is one and then there's another one here and this is a document a document has an id so that's a mandatory part and these are the key value pairs that i mentioned this is user id that's the key and two is the value key and value now and there could the values could be the strings integers floats like all those different uh, types of data. You'll also see arrays, objects, uh, arrays of objects. So there are many types of data that you can store in a document. And they're saved as this .json file. Now we are going to create something like this. So let's go back to our Mongo shell and we'll see how we can create a document like so. So let's start a document using doc and that's a variable name it can be anything that you want or maybe i'll just write doc1 and then i want a title uh, let's say we are creating a database of clothing items so my title for this uh, document is gonna be uh, white shirt and then comma so this is the first key and value pair then i can add some description 
and then also we'll just add one last attribute price and say so this is going to be an integer so we'll say 50 and after you are done uh, add a semicolon at the end and when you press enter you should see an output formatted like so so we have white shirt description and price now we have a document but this document has not been inserted into that database or not inside a collection now if you know relational dbms now like each uh, tuple or row it goes inside a table in mongodb an equivalent to that is something called a collection so to simplify each document is gonna go inside a collection and that collection can then go inside a database so for example now we are within first database if I type show collections you can see we don't have any collections yet now to insert that document we need to create a collection now in MongoDB this is very uh, easy because we don't need to create a collection as soon as we insert a document the collection will be automatically created for us just like the database now again you can store multiple collections in a database and then multiple documents in a collection we want to insert that doc1 that document in a collection say maybe our clothing store collection we're gonna use that so the way to do this is db then the collection name i'm gonna use clothing store dot and finally insert one and then the document you want to insert so that's going to be our doc one and that's all so db then the collection name clothing store dot insert one doc one and when i do that i get acknowledged true and it was inserted now if i run the same command and you can simply do that by clicking on the up arrow show collections now you can see we have a new collection named clothing store so we have inserted that document inside clothing store now how do we see that like whether that actually happened or not we use something called the find command to query this database so we can see that by db and then we want to see the documents in clothing store so write clothing store dot find and we'll keep it empty because we want to see all the documents in that collection and we get that output and it, right now we have only one document it has an id now and then title description and price now you can see we got this id and this was automatically generated by mongodb every single document in a mongodb collection will have its own unique id it cannot be the same and in the background mongodb actually embeds the timestamp uh, for the document in this id so that's very convenient uh, for writing queries now we'll see how to write more complicated queries like this using find uh, that would be a big part of this course but now what did we learn so far in this video we know how to create a database how to create a collection and how to insert a document inside that collection now if i were to exit out of mongodb so let's exit and let's say i write mongo sh again to go inside our mongo shell show dbs you can see our first database is here within that database you can go first database and then show collections and finally if i want to see the documents that i have in that collection db clothing store find and we have the document so we learned how to create a database how to create a collection and how to insert a document in that collection
So that's all for this video. We'll cover more stuff in the next one. Thank you. And please subscribe for more videos in this series.